Hi everyone, I'm Kelly with North Shore Eye Care. Today I am sitting with Dr. Andrew Bainson and we're going to discuss a topic that is pretty popular right now in uh, social media especially. Roseanne Barr, who is 62, is claiming that she is getting a lot of relief um, from using marijuana for her macular degeneration and glaucoma. So I want to get a doctor's opinion on this. She um, is well known for filming the show Roseanne in the 1980s and she's been speaking very publicly about it. So Dr. Bainson, can you please tell us from a medical standpoint whether or not this is really going to help her? Sure. Well, you know, first off, you know, I've never examined Roseanne Barr and I feel sorry for her. She truly does have, uh, which sounds like she does, has macular degeneration and glaucoma. Um, both of those can be very debilitating diseases. So, you know, I wish her the best and uh, I'm sure she's got the best doctors. I was going to um, say, we should probably tell people a little bit about macular degeneration and glaucoma if they don't know sure, about it. Sure. Um, you know, uh, macular degeneration is a degenerative or an aging change in the eyes where uh, you develop deposits in the retina. Mm -hmm. uh, many of these patients uh, also will develop bleeding. Uh, currently, we have excellent treatment for the bleeding when it does occur, but unfortunately, only about uh, 10 to 20 percent of people develop bleeding, or I should say fortunately, because those patients tended to do worse. Okay. Um, for those who just have um, some of the age changes, they have diminished vision, but it does not, uh, there's nothing we can do other than uh, you know, watch them and observe. Glaucoma is a disease where high pressure in the eye causes damage to the optic nerve, and when you've had enough damage, you start to lose uh, vision, usually in the peripheral. So, you know, in her case, having both diseases, one tends to affect the central vision, one affects the peripheral vision. In terms of uh, glaucoma, though, uh, there is really no evidence to date that marijuana is an effective treatment. Uh, dating back to the 1970s when uh, some of the initial studies were performed, we did find that marijuana does have a pressure-lowering effect. However, it's very short-lived. Uh, it's thought to be maybe on the order of every three or four hours. So in order to get a sustained reduction in pressure, you would have to be smoking uh, pot every three or four hours. And while that may sound uh, nice for some, uh, right. it really doesn't make for a very uh, productive person. Right. Um, so that's part of the problem. And it's probably one of the biggest misnomers of uh, marijuana treatment. You know, marijuana does have some role in medicine, and as we see in some states, it's become legal for recreational use. Uh, in many states, including in New York, uh, it uh, has been approved or is in the approval process for use uh, medically. Um, but unfortunately, yeah. uh, for eyes, there really is no firm place for it. Okay. So, um, so basically, she might get a little bit of relief for a short amount of time. What are, what are some other things, though, that can be done, treatment for macular degeneration and glaucoma, actually? Really, for both of those, the, the first step is, is seeing your eye doctor. You know, both of those can exist without your having any symptoms or knowledge. Uh, and so they can be brewing for quite some time uh, without us knowing that they're there. So the first step is getting examined. Uh, in terms of glaucoma, you know, everybody is different and we take everybody's treatment differently. Um, most of the time we start with uh, eye drops to lower the pressure. Sometimes we'll do a laser treatment, simple office procedure. Um, and in, in some cases when the treatment seems to not be working well and the glaucoma seems to be progressing, there are some incisional surgical things. For the macular degeneration, one of the things um, that we have found to be beneficial is vitamin supplementation, specifically lutein is uh, one of the current things we think is important. Mm -hmm. uh, there also is a huge risk factor uh, of smoking and macular degeneration. So any patient who uh, has macular degeneration uh, and they're worried about it, who's also a smoker, quitting Tobacco. smoking is probably the biggest thing that they can do uh, to help themselves. Uh, and again, we just watch these patients to make sure that uh, the bleeding doesn't develop. So, um, have you had patients actually ask you for um, prescriptions <laughs> from, all, from all the time? And as the you know the media uh, comes about, I just had a patient uh, yesterday, in fact, okay. uh, asked me about it, and you know we had a little chuckle, and I gave him the the explanation that you know uh, yes, it might work for short term, but it really wasn't the the way to treat his uh, glaucoma. Mm -hmm. um, I think you know the take home message is. Uh, 
everybody jokes about it, even all the late night hosts, they're always joking, oh, you know, my glaucoma is bad. And there probably are some patients with end stage blind eyes who lost vision from glaucoma and who have pain and nausea uh, that do benefit from marijuana, but not from the glaucoma point of view, but more from the pain and the nausea pain point of view, which most yeah. of us have known for some time that marijuana is very effective for patients with nausea and pain, uh, but not so much for the eye pressure. Okay. Well, thank you for explaining that. So if you would like to make an appointment in our office, please give us a call at 631-265-8780. You can set up an appointment to see Dr. Bainson, who's in, remind me, Smithtown, Riverhead? And Deer Park. And Deer Park, okay. Um, you can also check out our website at nseye.com. Or call me to set up an appointment, kelly at nseye.com as well. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.